Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the number one, my number one most prescribed drill, the one that I give to my private clients the most over the years. And for many of you golfers watching at home, it potentially could be the drill that really gets your swing going, that really helps you cut your handicap, maybe even in half this year. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I hope you get enough value out of this video that you will hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Now for this drill, I personally, I use a chair and I use a microphone stand with a noodle. Now, if you don't want to get that complicated, you can always use uh, your golf bag for both of these items. You can set your golf bag down behind you and let the head covers guide you uh, or if you want to uh, substitute for a noodle you can simply put your golf bag right here and pull out like the head cover of a hybrid or a three wood and you can put it right where i'm telling you that you want to put this thing so essentially the drill just works like this and because this will be very new motion to you you will have to substitute one of two things or both <laughs> contact and or speed you're not if you're going if you want to swing fast your contact's going to stink if you slow down you can also do the motion correctly you need to be in conscious control this is not a reflex action it's different you're learning something new just like your times tables in second grade or your spelling words in fourth grade got to memorize them over and over and over again okay Essentially, the drill just works like this. Do it without a ball first. And we're just going to do a double butt cheek lift to the chair and keep it off the ground. Just like this. As I make my exit, low and left. So something like this. Slow and easy at first. Just like that. So now I'll get a ball in the way. I'll do maybe 10 of those to warm up. Make sure I'm doing them right. Now we're just going to pitch. If you have to, you'll drop to 30 yards. Watch, I can hit it 30 yards with a bigger than 30 yard swing. Okay, I lied, it maybe went 45 on accident, but going really slow, both with power and with tempo. I need to consciously control everything. So here I go, lift the chair, exit left. Just like that. Now for a lot of you who suffer from a two-way miss, which is a lot of people, get a little stuck, you push the ball, block the ball, and then you hook the ball somewhere during your round, you hit a snap hook. This is extremely, extremely, extremely common amongst the average, even better player. This will really fix that. We're going to keep Fix the early extension. We're going to put the club on the correct arc. I want to hit right in the middle of the tree out there on my target. So there I've quickly worked my way up to 100 or 110 yards. Got a 9 iron. I like a 9 iron because your ego is not going to tend to get in the way. If you're trying to hit a 5 or a 6 iron, it's hard to get yourself to hit a 5 iron 110, 120 yards if normally you're hitting it 210 yards. If you're only hitting 150, it's hard to get yourself to hit a 5 iron 80. It's all proportionate. So, speed is your enemy. Slow is your friend. Lift the chair and exit low left. 
even I am finding that all of a sudden I have an abundance of squaring force in the system now and I can release the club face a little bit more square to the arc now as I exit like that like that and that is straight to straight right on the top of the tree again so my number one most prescribed drill what is this going to give you it's going to give you hand pass get rid of early extension moving you down a ben hogan number line which no question most of us can move further down the ben hogan number line for sure so it's going to get you on plane going to have you maintain your posture, going to have you increase club head speed because you're getting more kick in that head of that club, the more efficient the hand path is, going to help you control the face. So if you are wide from left to right with your dispersion, I want you to test that. Hit 10 six irons and I want you to come comment down below how far in feet is the furthest one to the left and the furthest one to the right. And if we're at 120 feet or 100 feet from left to right on a six iron, you're in trouble on both of those shots. Even if it's just 150 yards, 140 yards, we just can't go that wide and play good golf. So this will really help with left-right dispersion. The club face will be easier to control, not doing as much through the impact zone and Another thing this will really help, for those of you who have a really hard time taking a divot in front, hitting it clean, and compressing the ball, this is an outstanding drill for that as well. So, low point control, compression, club face control, a little more club head speed eventually. It's an outstanding drill for most everybody. There's an asterisk there, of course. But hey, give this a try. Just do it with your golf bag a few times. Start getting the feeling of the nature of the arc, the correct arc of the club head and the club shaft and the club handle going around your body. And you're going to improve your accuracy and your striking really substantially, really fast. Hey, thanks for considering this drill. Check out my website, hititlonger.com, for over, gosh, hundreds and hundreds more articles and videos that I am quite sure are going to help you improve your game. I'm Steve. As usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.